Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. What you are looking at is the result of a trip to Target to buy a birthday gift for one of Molly's friends and walking past the Halloween display of old-fashioned General Mills cereal. And Molly had this fabulous memory of when she was very small. I'm going to say six years old or yeah, so. Six. And we ran out of bread, and we needed bread for lunches the next day. And she went, oh my gosh, Count Chocula! Remember? Remember when Rick had to go to the store, and he came back with this? And that made me smile, because that is what happens when you send your husband to the store unattended. He comes back with all manner of interesting things. So, because it's Halloween, General Mills has these, you know, the monster cereals, the classic cereals, out... And, packaging. and they're in their original packaging, and I know they're... 1971. The original ones were released, that's right, in 1971. And it's just a fun memory. We're going to make a fun Halloween treat with these. And I couldn't resist them. They are sometimes food, and they're a lot of fun, and sometimes you just have to look the other way. So we're going to get started, and we're going to make some... What do we call this? Monster Chow. Monster. We're going to call it Monster Chow. And I'm going to go let the dog in. Okay, what I have here is I have six cups of assorted cereal. I have two cups each of Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and that yummy mummy thing, which I never heard of until today. Honestly. But they swear it was original. They say it was original. I guess a Frankenberry, yummy mummy... Fruit Brute, Boo Berry, and Count Chocula. And I never heard of Yummy Mummy or Fruit Brute in my life. But, you know, we'll go with it. I didn't buy the Boo Berry or the Fruit Brute because I only bought three boxes. Come on. I bought three boxes because they are giving away a free cookbook with the purchase of three boxes. So, so that's why I bought three boxes. I was only going to buy two, but so sue me. Okay, anyway, let's get started. I got six cups of this cereal, and these have little marshmallows in them. They used to be called ghost marshmallows. Um, I think they, oh, see, it looks like a little ghosty. Hmm. And look, this one looks like a bad. Fun. Okay, so I'm getting, whatever. I took a 12-ounce bag of white chocolate chips, and I melted them in the microwave. Hmm? What? Um, no, I think it's fine. I'm just going to get as much as possible out of here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just get this in here with this cereal. Get it all out of there the best that you can. That's just white chocolate, right? This is nothing more than white chocolate. You melt it in the microwave. And then I have a half a bag of um, dark chocolate chips that I melted inside of a pastry bag. And when you melt these in the microwave, just put them in the bag, put it on 20 second bursts, flip the bag over a couple times, take it out and give it a squeeze. When it's completely melted, then you know you can just move forward. So what we're gonna do here, is just I have gloves on my hand, and this chocolate is warm, so. Keep that in mind, this is not something you want your little kids doing, even if they have gloves on, um, because they will hurt themselves, because this is really almost uncomfortable. It's so warm. And just get this coated and, and get that chocolate as evenly distributed as possible. You don't have to use this kind of cereal to do this, folks. You can use any kind of cereal you want. You can use Captain Crunch. How about all berries? That's one of my favorite Captain Crunches. Um, you know, I hardly ever buy sugar cereals in this house, so for me to even buy this is mm -hmm. is actually quite unusual. But sometimes it's just fun. My mom never, ever let us have sugar cereal. Said it's a holiday treat. It's 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 true. So just get this out. I've got a parchment lined baking sheet here and I'm just going to dogs are playing so mm -hmm. I'm just going to spread it out it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be you know it doesn't have to be spread out evenly it just has to be as 
thin as you can get it in your pan. I'm just going to kind of manipulate it. And this is just a fun little treat. You know, if you're having a Halloween party or if you go to a school, if your kids go to a school where you're still allowed to make homemade treats, this would be a lot of fun to make and, and uh, take for the classroom. You could divide it up into individual baggies. That way it wouldn't be difficult to serve. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gloves off. And I'm going to grab my scissors. How is that, honey? One got away. Oh, whatever will we do. Okay. I'm going to cut the tip off of this uh, pastry bag. Make sure the tip goes in the sink or in the garbage. That is not, uh, needs to be cut further. Make sure you cut it enough. And just give it a gentle squeeze. It doesn't have to be anything. Just drizzle it on there. This is a good thing you can get your kids to do. If you don't have a pastry bag, no worries. Just use a Ziploc bag and uh, force it all into one corner. Cut the tip off and do the same thing. Don't have a Ziploc bag? Just use a spoon. Get that chocolate good and melted and drizzle it off the back of a spoon. Not a big deal. I may not use all this chocolate, but I'm going to try my best to use it up because what am I going to do with it? Squeeze it into Rick's mouth? Mm. No thanks. <laughs> there, that's good enough. Now, into the fridge this is going to go for about a half an hour to set up. And then when we come back, we're going to break this up and we're going to show you what it looks like. And there you have some really awesome monster chow. So I'll be back and I'll show you what this looks like after it comes out of the fridge. Okay, this is all done and it's set. You can see you just lift it up with that piece of parchment paper and, and then you just can break it up. And then I would store this. Um, I'm going to keep mine in the fridge for now because it's... Um, <clears throat> The cereal is still a little on the soft side, but I wanted to show it to you. The chocolate is all set up. You can just break this up. And this is going to be great to put in little treat bags. Like I said, you can just make this for a party, make it for your family. You can share it with your friends. I would take this to work if I worked in an office still. I would totally take this to share. This is a lot of fun. I would maybe... I put this in the fridge for a half an hour. I would probably keep it in the fridge for at least an hour. I'm gonna stick it, after I break it up, I'm gonna stick it back in the fridge. Cause you don't want this um, to get, you want people to be able to pick it up and eat it without having to worry about. Um, it's true. But when you, if you take it somewhere, if you serve this as a part at a party, you don't want you want people just to be able to pick it up and eat it. I'm saying, oh, that's great. Oh, it is good. Oh my goodness. Mm mm mm. That is a fun treat. I have to say. Yeah. If any of you have ever had that white chocolate covered popcorn, did you try it? No. Um. Take your hand in there. Get some. No. This kind of what it reminds me of is that. That white chocolate covered popcorn. Oh, that is so good. And it's really good, isn't it? It's called black and white. Yeah. And you can use whatever you want. You don't have to drizzle it with chocolate like I did. Hey, you know what you do? You get some of those colored candy melts. And you could do black and orange, or you could do whatever theme it was. Like I said, you don't have to use this Halloween oh, cereal. You could use red. For oh, blood. for blood. Yeah. For older kids, yeah, that would be fun. But that's how what we make what we're gonna call. What do we call this, honey? Monster chow. Monster chow. I, I don't know, cause Rick's the one who came up with the name. <laughs> you call it what you want to call it. 
And we used to have the monster juice. Yeah, we did. Oh, we'll have to tell that story one day. <laughs> monster juice. So there you go. A fun treat for your Halloween party or Halloween celebration or it doesn't have to be for Halloween. It can be for Christmas. It can be for any time. This is a fun treat for birthdays or just any reason. So I hope you try it. I hope you love it. And until next time, I'll see ya.